Hope you guys have been hanging in real well during this nice crypto dip. Before we get started, if you could throw a like or subscribe to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Some people are worried about the market being over, that we're going into a bear cycle. I wouldn't stress that at all. It's not going to be the case. I don't think it's that time yet. We still got a little more time. I have my own theory on it, but I'm not going to spoil that for everyone here. If you want to learn about that, jump in our Discord group. But let's go over the market cap real quick. You can see we took a nice little plunge once we hit this peak at 2.4 trillion. Essentially, we got all the way up to 2.57 trillion before we took a scarlet tumble. Now we fell completely out of retracement, turned into a correction. We had our reversal, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you're looking at the daily charts, you can see these two values that I marked on this line are going to be two major points of support. Major reason of this one being that you're at the 200 EMA. And as well, this was a major point of support before we got our second level of support before price took its next little impulse move previously. So it looks like we're just trying to work up to this 1.58 trillion level and to hold the support before the impulse move can start moving back up again. Now, if we can get back to this line, you can see this was the next major SR area. If price decides to break up to here and start again, we could see a similar trend that we saw last time. Hopefully not taking a dump all the way down. Another thing to keep in track right and keep in mind is that we're getting a 20 EMA crossing over the 50 EMA, which is not good. We could see price get a nice little push from that. Hopefully not. Hopefully we're at the bottom, but... Keep in mind that that is something that is about to happen in the next five hours. So tomorrow might be even a little more fun than it is right now. You can see mostly red except for theta probably. But even with that, you're seeing projects going down even further like BitTorrent or Bitcoin. All hitting major levels at the moment, holding on for their dear lives. So going back to this daily, we're hoping that this can hold. You can see the RSI is definitely hitting the bottom. We're going to start seeing red lines show up here, like we saw the blue line showing up in these areas. Signaling to buy, we're in the oversold area on the still RSI, we're super bearish on the volume. So everything going forward right now is pointing that we need to start moving upwards. Keep in mind though, we can still keep dipping. A major last support under the 200 EMA is going to be here, but if we get to that point, that's... That's not good. You can see through this entire move so far, we haven't even touched really the 100 EMA and we just snapped that 100 and went straight to the 200. We haven't really had an actual retracement per se. These have been decent drops, but nothing like we've seen this time around. But we saw this in the previous cycle when drops like this happen, the next thing you know, the market exploded upwards. You got a lot of the fear and panic out, the FUD and all the buyers and sellers from the institutions and the whales start buying in more and more when it's sitting at this low value but they accumulate it in slow chunks because they're buying millions and they don't want to spike the market and cause another crash so they lose the money so they buy it all in small pieces and on their last little chunk throw a big thing in make the price go up so with that in mind we're going to go over three coins one coin every day for the next three days the first one for today is going to be matic if you haven't heard of polygon or matic this thing has been blowing up we jumped in this one in the Discord group in January around, I think it was like 16 cents or something like that, something ridiculously low. Now we're sitting at 18th and a dollar 20. Price did push at an all-time high of around two dollars and 45 cents. A market cap of 7.3 billion dollars. A max supply and total supply of 10 billion. So it's a finite token. Currently have 6.16 billion in circulation. That is an approved circulation. So we're sitting at 62% of total supply. So Polygon is a dev team's dream. It is a scalable solution for Ethereum to support multi-chain ecosystems. You can see that you can scale your decentralized app in 30 minutes, built for developers by developers. The main thing that Polygon is doing is solving pain points associated with blockchains like high gas fees and slow speeds without sacrificing security. Multi-chain system is akin to ones such as Polkadot, Cosmos, Avalanche, and more but with at least three major upsides, the ability to fully benefit from Ethereum's network, inherently more secure and more open and powerful. That's why this thing has been taking off. You can get into this a little more if you want to, but Polygon is a huge, huge project for Ethereum. And I think it's one of the things that's keeping Ethereum around. I think that's why Polygon is probably gonna push into the top 10 coming soon. 
it can definitely make back its market cap and more i wouldn't be surprised to see this thing get up to 10 15 maybe 20 dollars at some point and if you follow them on twitter or anything like that you can see that they are always talking about things and updating things and this and that which if you have don't follow us on twitter make sure you follow us on the twatty so if you go through you can see they are very open about their team there's always something going on just bet in polygon you have orion in polygon neon district Ampnet, loot the list goes on and on and on as you continue to go through this there's a ton of projects that continue to open up on here talking about 352,000 people following them already this is something that can piggyback off of ethereum and take it all the way to the moon and considering that let's do the favorite part which is price analysis we ended up getting out in our discord group around tp1 to tp2 area so we were hitting in this general area was where the majority of people were getting out now we ended up taking this all the way back down on a full retracement. Let's clean this chart out since we don't need any of this anymore. So we came all the way down on Matic to $1.60. Now, even if you want to go from where current price is to all time high, you're talking about 134% move. So you're more than doubling the move. And based on the last move, obviously the FIB doesn't necessarily stand anymore, but just to get a guesstimate of where it could have gone if it stayed in that retracement. I mean, technically speaking, it's still sitting at the 7860. You've had a couple long wicks that reached down and came up to the 6180. Price is still sitting around the 7860, just a little bit lower. So technically speaking, it's still a great buying opportunity for Matic. Now, if it does stay in this pattern and continue to fulfill and make its move, you can see price push up to 4.5 on the next impulse move. Now, let's say we bought in at the same price that we're talking about here, and we want to take this all the way up to TP3 just to see how much of a move it can be. Talking about almost a 300% move into the next impulse move for Matic, which has already been blowing up. Definitely something I would consider putting money into if you haven't. Not financial advice, but all in all, you can see that from where it started before, Matic has gained tons of speed and got deadlocked by this dip. But when price starts to come back up, this thing is going to absolutely annihilate the charts and continue its massive growth. So based on a probability standard, I'd say this has a much better chance than a lot of these other coins to recover and especially make an intense recovery. Now if we're looking to see where this possibly can start turning for Matic. Drop onto the four hour chart. I'd say right around honestly where price is now you're sitting a little bit over the 200 EMA which is still staying bullish and is a solid support. This little guy right here at 1.24 is going to be a major SR flip. At the lowest you can see price push down to the $1 region. So you're currently 15 cents away from potentially where it could be the lowest. That's also where the lowest wick is sitting. So we can see price come all the way back down to here. We're pretty close already. So if you're being patient, you might get a nice buy-in on this, especially considering this is showing that flip as well on the 20 EMA into the 50 EMA, showing a crossover down. So all in all, we're gonna stay bullish on Matic going forward once this dip finally corrects itself and we find a support hold. I'll be watching this very closely to see if I can ride this all the way back up to the top and more. This is one that carried my portfolio massively from the bottom. We got in around here somewhere and rode this gravy train all the way up right before this massive sell-off. Don't forget to throw a like, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff. That'd be greatly appreciated. And that about wraps up today's episode.